Hi, hope you guys are doing well. I have a new book for you. It's called The Three Little Wolves and the Big Bad Pig. So if you've ever heard of The Three Little Pigs, this is a different take on it. Written by Eugene uh, Travis and Helen Oxenbury. Let's see if you've heard this version of The Three Little Pigs or The Three Little Wolves. Once upon a time, there were three cuddly little wolves that had soft fur, fluffy tails, and they lived with their mother. The first was black, the second was gray, and the third was white. One day, the mother called to them and said, my children, it is time for you to go out into the world. Go build a home for yourselves, but beware of that big, bad pig. Don't worry, mother, we will watch out, said the three little wolves, and they set off. Soon they met a kangaroo that was pushing a wheelbarrow full of red and yellow bricks. Please, can you give me some bricks, asked the three wolves. Certainly, said the kangaroo, and she gave them red and yellow bricks. So the three little wolves built themselves a house out of bricks. The very next day, the big, bad, Pig came by. He went down the road and saw the house that had been built of bricks. The three little wolves were playing croquet in the garden, and when they saw the big pig coming, they ran inside and locked the door. The little pig knocked on the door and grunted, Little wolves, little wolves, let me in. No, no, said the little wolves. Not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. We will not let you in for all the tea leaves in our teapot. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed. But the house would not fall down. So the pig wasn't called big and bad for nothing. He went and grabbed his sledgehammer. And he knocked the house down. The three little wolves only managed to escape just before the bricks came crumbling down. They were very frightened. We shall build a stronger house, they said. Just then, they saw a beaver who was mixing concrete into a concrete mixer. Please, will you give us some of your concrete, the three wolves asked. Certainly, said the beaver, and he gave them buckets and buckets of concrete. So, the three little wolves built themselves a house out of concrete. No sooner had they finished, but the big bad pig came prowling down the road, and he saw the house they had made of concrete. They were playing battle door and shuttlecock in the garden, and when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside and shut the door. The pig rang the bell and said, uh, little wolves, let me in. No, 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 said the three little wolves. By the hair of our chinny chin chin, we will not let you in with all the tea leaves in our teapot. So then I'll just have to huff and puff and puff and blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but the house did not fall down. Well, the pig was not called big and bad for nothing. He went and fetched a drill, and he smashed the house down. The three little pigs managed to escape by their chinny-chin chins, but they were trembling. We shall build an even stronger house, they said. They were very determined. Just then, they saw a truck coming along, carrying twine and wire and armor plates and padlocks. Please, will you give us your barbed wire and iron bars and some heavy padlocks? They said to the rhinoceros who was driving the truck. Well, sure, said the rhinoceros. And he gave them plenty of barbed wire and armored plates and heavy metal padlocks. He also gave them some plexiglass and some reinforced steel chains because he was a very generous and kind-hearted rhino rhinoceros. So the three little wolves built themselves a house and it was the strongest, most secure one that they could imagine. They felt extremely safe. They had the chains and the barbed wire and the bars. 
Let's see if the little pig can get in, or the big pig. The next day, the big pig came prowling along as usual. The three little wolves were playing hopscotch in the garden, and when they saw the big bad pig coming, they ran inside, bolted the door, and locked all 37 locks. The pig dialed the video entrance phone and said, uh, little frightened wolves with your trembling chins, let me in. No, 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 said the little wolves, not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. We will not let you in for all the tea in our teapot, for all the tea leaves in our teapot. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. So he huffed and he puffed and he huffed and he puffed, but the house would not fall down. But this pig was not called big and bad for nothing. He found dynamite, and he laid it against the house, and he lit the fuse. It's not a very nice pig. And then the house blew up. The three little wolves just managed to escape with their fluffy tails scorched. There they are, leaving. That wasn't very nice. Something must be wrong with our building materials, they said. We just have to try something different, but, but what? At that moment, they saw a flamingo coming along, pushing a wheelbarrow full of flowers. Please, will you give us some flowers? With pleasure, said the flamingo, so we gave them lots of flowers. So the three little wolves built themselves a house of flowers. Well, how is that going to stand up to that big bad pig? One wall was of marigolds, one was of daffodils, pink roses, and cherry blossoms. The ceiling was made of sunflowers, and the floor was a carpet of daisies. They had water lilies in the bathtub and buttercups in the refrigerator. It was a rather fragile house, and it swayed with the wind, but it was very beautiful. There he is taking a bath with the flowers. <clears throat> Next day, the big bad pig came prowling down the road and saw the house of flowers that the three wolves had built. He rang the doorbell and said, Oh, little frightened wolves with the trembling chins and the scorched tails, let me come in. No, 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 said the little wolves, not by the hair in our chinny chin chins. We will not let you in for all the tea leaves in our china pot, in our china teapot. Well, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll just blow your house down. But as he took a deep breath and he began to huff and puff, he smelled the sweet smell of flowers. It was fantastic. Because they were so lovely, the pig took another breath and then another. And then, instead of huffing and puffing, he began to sniff. He sniffed deeper and deeper until he was quite filled with the fragrant, beautiful scent of the flowers. His heart grew tender and he realized how horrible he had been. Right then, he decided he would become a good pig. He started to sing and dance. At first, the three little wolves were kind of worried. Maybe it was a trick. But soon they realized the pig had truly, had truly changed and they came running out of the house and they started to play games with him. <laughs> They're playing with the ball. First they played pig pog and then piggy in the middle and when they were all tired out, they invited him into the house. They offered him tea and strawberries and wolfberries and asked him to stay as long as he wanted. The pig accepted and they all lived together happily ever after. I hope you enjoyed that different story about the bad pig and the scared little wolves. Have a good day and I'll see you next time with a new book. Bye.